Energy storage is becoming one of the most important challenges of our time. As renewable power sources like solar and wind grow, we need better batteries to store energy when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. Lithium-ion batteries have powered our world for decades, but they rely on scarce materials and are difficult to recycle. Scientists have been searching for safer and more sustainable options. Now, researchers at UNSW Sydney may have found one. They've built a new kind of battery that uses protons, the lightest particles in the universe, to store energy. It could change everything. Why the world needs an alternative Every year, global demand for batteries rises sharply. Today, we use around one terawatt hour of lithium ion batteries, but by 2030, that could grow to six terawatt hours or more. The problem is that lithium, the metal behind this boom, is limited and unevenly distributed. Most of it comes from a few countries, and mining it is both expensive and harmful to the environment. Lithium extraction consumes huge amounts of water and leaves behind toxic waste. Even if we scaled up mining, it might still fall short of global demand for electric vehicles and renewable energy storage. That's why researchers have been exploring alternatives. Some focus on sodium ion batteries, which use more common materials, while others are developing metal-free designs. But one idea stands out, proton batteries. This technology uses hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, as its core energy carrier. Unlike lithium or cobalt, hydrogen can be produced almost anywhere and doesn't require destructive mining. The idea seems simple, yet it represents one of the most exciting breakthroughs in battery research today. How the proton battery works A proton battery might sound complex, but its basic principle is easy to understand. Like any battery, it has two sides. An anode and a cathode, separated by an electrolyte. When the battery is charging, protons are stored in the anode. When it discharges, those protons move through the electrolyte towards the cathode, releasing electrical energy in the process. The difference from a lithium-ion battery is the type of ion that moves. Instead of lithium ions, this system uses hydrogen ions, also known as protons. Hydrogen atoms are the smallest in the universe, made up of one proton and one electron. When hydrogen loses its electron, the remaining proton becomes a positively charged particle that can move extremely fast through materials. As the battery discharges, protons move through a water-based electrolyte, while electrons travel through an external circuit, generating electricity. During charging, the process reverses. Protons move back to the anode, and electrons flow in the opposite direction. The flow of electrons and protons is controlled by differences in redox potential, a measure of how easily a material can gain or lose electrons. This setup makes proton batteries unique. They rely on safe, water-based electrolytes instead of flammable organic liquids. They also use carbon-based electrodes instead of metal oxides. The result is a design that's not only safer, but also easier to recycle. It's a small change in chemistry, but it opens a big door for cleaner energy. The science behind the breakthrough. The journey of proton batteries began in 2014 when researchers at RMIT University in Australia built the first working model. It functioned, but its efficiency was poor. Six years later, a Swedish team developed an organic version that improved performance, reaching 60 milliamp hours per gram. It was promising, but still behind modern lithium ion batteries. Then came the major leap from the UNSW Sydney team. They developed a new organic carbon based material known as tetraminoparaquinone, or TAPQ for short. TAPQ is special because it allows protons to move quickly and store energy efficiently. Inside the battery, hydrogen bonds act as tiny bridges that help protons hop from site to site. This rapid movement allows for faster charging and better overall conductivity. The scientists originally worked with another compound called tetrachlorobenzoquinone, which had the wrong redox potential, too high for the anode and too low for the cathode. By replacing chlorine atoms with amino groups, they managed to adjust the potential perfectly. This small chemical change produced a huge improvement in performance and efficiency. The result was a powerful, durable and sustainable battery 
design, unlike anything before it. Record-breaking performance. The new Proton battery developed at UNSW Sydney delivers impressive results. It achieved a specific capacity of 307 milliamp hours per gram, almost as high as the graphite anode used in lithium-ion batteries, which delivers around 350. This means it can store nearly the same amount of charge per gram, despite using completely different chemistry. It also lasts far longer than previous designs. After 3,500 complete charge and discharge cycles, the battery still retains over 71% of its original capacity. That's roughly a thousand cycles more than the average lithium-ion battery used in smartphones or electric cars. Even more impressive is its ability to perform in extreme cold. At minus 30 degrees Celsius, it still delivers 201 milliamp hours per gram. Lithium ion batteries usually fail or lose efficiency in freezing conditions, but this proton design remains stable and powerful. Fast charging performance is also notable. Even when researchers increased the charging current by 30 times, the battery kept about 60% of its total capacity. That means it can handle high charging speeds without damage or overheating. All this is achieved using organic and water-based materials. The electrolyte is a mild solution of sulfuric acid, non-flammable and environmentally friendly. There are no toxic metals or explosion risks, making it one of the safest battery designs ever created. This combination of speed, safety and stability makes it a serious contender for the future of clean energy storage. How it compares to lithium batteries. Lithium ion batteries have dominated the market for over three decades, but the proton battery brings a new kind of competition. When we compare them side by side, several differences stand out. Lithium is a limited resource found mainly in a few regions, while protons are simply hydrogen ions available everywhere. That makes proton batteries less dependent on complicated supply chains and geopolitical tensions. Their electrodes are made of organic carbon materials instead of metals, so they are much easier to recycle and safer for the planet. Performance-wise, the numbers are surprisingly close. A typical lithium-ion anode can reach about 350 milliamp hours per gram, while the UNSW proton battery achieves 307. It's slightly lower, but the gap is small for a technology that's still in development. Temperature performance is another big win for proton batteries. Lithium systems often degrade in cold or overheat in hot conditions. The proton battery keeps working reliably in both extremes. Safety is perhaps the biggest difference. Lithium ion batteries rely on flammable electrolytes that can catch fire or even explode. Proton batteries use water-based electrolytes that eliminate this danger. That makes them ideal for electric vehicles, home storage, and other systems where safety matters most. While lithium batteries are currently cheaper due to mass production, proton batteries could become cost-effective once scaled up. Their simple materials and sustainable chemistry give them a clear long-term advantage. The challenges that remain. Despite all these advantages, proton batteries are still in the early stages of development. The version built at UNSW is only a laboratory prototype. Researchers have focused mainly on studying the materials, not yet on industrial manufacturing. For now, it proves that the concept works, but it still needs years of optimization before it can be used commercially. Another challenge is measuring the true energy density of the entire cell. We currently know the specific capacity of the anode, but not the combined performance of both electrodes. Without that, it's hard to compare directly with commercial lithium ion cells that already achieve high energy densities. Scaling up production is another barrier. Manufacturing organic electrodes at large volumes will require new techniques and new equipment. Recycling systems and end-of-life strategies must also be developed before the technology becomes mainstream. Still, none of these problems is permanent. Lithium-ion technology took 40 years to reach today's efficiency and affordability. The proton battery is at the beginning of a similar journey. With steady progress and global interest, it could evolve into a real alternative sooner than expected. A glimpse into the future. What makes this discovery even more exciting is that its benefits may go beyond batteries. Because proton batteries use hydrogen ions, they could also help solve one of the biggest problems in clean energy, hydrogen storage.
Hydrogen gas is extremely light and difficult to store safely. It can leak easily and react explosively. But in a proton battery, those same hydrogen atoms exist in a stable, bound form as protons inside solid materials. This makes it possible to store hydrogen safely and release it when needed. Scientists call this idea a hydrogen sponge. If developed further, it could connect the worlds of electric and hydrogen power. Energy could be stored as protons and later released as electricity or hydrogen gas as needed. This flexibility could transform renewable energy grids and make clean fuel transport easier. The potential impact goes far beyond just phones or cars. It could reshape how entire nations store and distribute energy. Conclusion The proton battery is still young, but it represents a new era in clean energy research. It's fast, safe, long-lasting, and made from abundant materials. It works in freezing temperatures and poses almost no environmental risk. While lithium-ion batteries will dominate for years to come, the proton battery shows what the next generation might look like. Sustainable, powerful, and scalable. Like every great innovation, it will take time to mature. But each breakthrough brings us closer to a world powered not by rare metals, but by the simplest particle of all, the proton.